Hello, it's Kim here and we're going to do a journal page. Right, I've got three pieces of paper. They've got detailing on them but it's light so that's good. I've drawn some tags, we'll use them later, I'll just chop them off. save them. Right, and now I'm just going to get these three and I'm just going to basically make strips. You can do this on a guillotine or whatever is easiest for you. I'm just doing it with scissors. Just I like, I want them all different sizes I suppose. Alright, and now I'm going to cut them again, longwards, into squares. I probably made too many squares, but it's okay. I think this will be enough. We'll find out anyway. Right, I'm using Gloss Medium by Galleria. And what I'm going to do is... I'm going to stick the squares randomly in order, well not in order, randomly, on the page and just, that's just come through pink because of the background, I've got something on the page, never mind, it's okay. I'm going over the top as well as underneath with this gloss medium so that it covers it. Right, now that my paper is all down and it is all glossed up, put that last one there, there we go. Now I'm going to paint it. I like the edges, some of them are sticking up. I like this, it's fine. I'll leave it as it is. Right, now I'm going to lightly go over it with Folk Art pigment. Uh, it's yellow at the moment, but I want to water it down a bit so it's not too thick, just so I can still see the paper underneath. So let's have a look. I'm just using normal water though it's got a bit of gesso in it because I didn't clean I didn't swap my water since I've used it last and now I'm just going to that's a baby wipe it comes in handy seem to get any paint out I might have to scrape it from the bottom a bit better. Hmm. 
little dress pose. Now I'm going to just use my heat gun and just quickly heat that up. Well, not heat it up, dry it is what the word I'm looking for. Right, now that that is dry, or I believe it's dry, I'm going to use Tim Holtz Distress Stain and I'm just going to go along the edges. This is also a yellowy colour, so it might be a little bit blended. You might not be able to see it very well. Never mind, eh? I've also got watercolour brush pens. I'll find a brown. pens um these I don't think they're labeled they're just a cheap imitation of maybe an expensive brush then I'm just going around the edges I want to define my edges a bit more and so the papers are more seen though again this is quite a light color Just smudging it with my fingers so it looks more natural. It doesn't have to be perfect, I'm just doing random ones now. Random edges. No, I think that'll be fine now. Now what I'm going to do is I've got some paper, different colours, different textures, different bits, I'll move this out of the way. I'm going to draw some cups, maybe just small ones. Um, I'll use a pencil, pen would be better but yeah, I'll, I'll use a pen. It's permanent, I suppose. What you go wrong with a pen, that's it. <laughs> that's my first one. I'll make it a little saucer. Then I'll do a proper mug style. I 
I've got one, two, three pieces of paper here. So I'm cutting them out and there will be three, six cups all together. Two sauces and three sauces and three mugs. It doesn't have to be perfect. I don't think anyone knows how to make a perfect cup size. If you do, that would be fantastic if you're a cup drawing specialist. Should have probably drawn on the back. Now you can see my pen, but doesn't matter, I suppose. papers here I like the look of and I'm going to use these as stencils just need one does it look like a cup I don't know it looks like a tiny bowl maybe I'm not sure what it looks like but It'll be fine, I'm sure. Last one. Right, with this one, because I've got a handle, I'm also going to use a Stanley knife, or a craft knife, whatever you want to call it, and I'm just going to cut out the handle. I'll do it individually, otherwise I'm going to make a mess. I'm not ruining my desk, I've got a Glass Tonic Studios glass mat, which is very handy, it's good for cutting and it's also good for painting and I can wipe it clean, which is good. And there's no pain on, pen on this one, I'm just going to guess where the handle would be. I was going through two at the same time then, so that might not have worked. Oh, it did work. I like this paper, I've just found it. It's quite nice. Right. Last ones. If you have noticed my nails, they are trainers, little converses. They didn't really work because the white and the black paint was running out. So I added some nail varnish remover to the bottle thinking it might help thin it up, but I don't know. All done. Brilliant. Oh, let's bring the page back. Now, gloss medium again, same thing. We're going to stick and paint. Just decide which way I want them. I like this one here, maybe this one here. And maybe this one inside here. And then these little bowl ones. Maybe put the handle this side. That one's a bit big. Maybe that one should go on the bottom. Put a 
there then I can put that inside there and then I can't use this one and this one but I can use this one and then this one How's it looking? How's yours looking? Are you doing it as well? I hope so. Then let's just, I'll skip them too. I'm not too keen on them. I can make that one there. And then that one there. How's that looking? Time to stick them down now, I suppose. Here's my baby wipe and just clean my brush. You could just use a normal cloth, but I don't know. I prefer baby wipes. I'm using a gloss medium and not a glow because I'm actually going to paint on top of the cups afterwards. So this one's upside down, but it doesn't matter. Now I'll just use my heat gun and I'll just dry that off. I just thought while that was while I was drying it that I could add some details to the cups because sometimes they have little lines and bits and bobs on them. completely dry yet, it's still sticky so that's good this one's sticky up here as well I can do something with this one I'll continue to heat it. Right, now that that is dry, I'm going to make my cups look more 3D by just giving them some shading. What's this? I'm using my watercolour brush again and just...
because we went over with the gel medium the paper isn't soaking in the ink so fast so it's easy to blend otherwise the paper would soak up all the ink and basically we'd be stuck with what color we had relaxing to like a good color coloring these cups is making me thirsty a nice cup of coffee would be lovely around now but never mind Fingers are still blue from the other paint, so I contaminated this one. Never mind. The good thing about art is you can never make mistakes, just go with it. Yep, like I was supposed to do that. And that's the thing when people say, oh, I can't draw, I can't paint, I'm not very good at art. Everyone's good at art. You don't have to be good. As whatever you want it to be. As long as it's messy. Can't do tidy art. Ugh, no, it's got to be messy. I mean, if you're going to do it, you might as well go all out and get messy. What's the point in staying clean? <laughs> right, um, I'll just do this last one. Once you've done your shading and you're happy, then you want to do the shading on the background as well. Um, I have a brown. I'm just going to go around the edges in my brown. I'm a lefty. I don't know if you've just noticed. I am left-handed. I do use that side of my brain. As well as my right side. With both sides of my brain. I'm pretty sure. I must be a genius. There we go. I'm happy with that. It's messy. It's good. Now I'm going to use a white gel pen, which I have here, and I'm just going to, I don't know if it's showing through or not, no it's not, useless. In that case, I have some white gesso, I will use instead, and I'm going to just put a shine, uh, if I got a, got one of these for nail art but I also use it in my art as well there we go 
Well, that's yours. Well, that's better than the gel pen, isn't it? I had a really good white gel pen. It was fantastic, but I lost it. I don't know where it went. happy with that. Now these little tags that I cut off before, I'm going to just use one of these pens and just darken it a little bit. I haven't got anything, no gloss on this page so you can't actually smudge it. Unless you gloss it first and then smudge it. I'm quite happy with it as it is though. There we go. That's fine. Now I don't cut these out. For now, it's not perfect. I hope you're not OCD. This one. Those two. And there's three. Now I'm going to use, I couldn't find string, but I found book binding string. But I don't want the purple, I just want the white. So I'm going to just snip a bit. And then I'm going to untwine it. Untwine, untangle, un whatever. I'm not sure what that actually means. Untwine. It is untwine, isn't it? it must be untwine. I don't know. Alright, and then I'm going to cut it into three pieces. Oh, it's gotten really weak now. Let's stick it in glue. Alright, one, two, three. I don't know if they're all the same length. They do look it, however. That's quite good, isn't it? And now I have a piercing tool here. I'm going to pierce through the hole. There's one. Did it go through? No, I don't think it did. Yeah, no, it did. One, two. I'm doing it on a baby wipe, so it's actually getting wet. It's actually ruining it, but oh well, I don't care. Three. Put that out of the way. Right. Then I use my brush and again dip it in my gloss medium. And I'll have one coming from this cup. I post the little holes to put the string through, but it's too fiddly. I'm just going to 
leave it like this and hope for the best. There we go, there's one. Let's do one in this big cup here. Last one, let's do it from the top cup. We could do it coming down this side actually, that'd be nice. I don't know if you can see, but this is getting very messy. Look at that. Looks like I've murdered someone. Oh, well. There we go. That'll do. I'm happy with that. What do we think? Very nice. Okie dokies. Now I'll just quickly dry that off. Let's try. Now I've got these stickers, these letter stickers, and I'm just going to put them here with a quote or something that used to be on a teacup. The cup broke, and I always remembered. So we have a T. Should have used coffee really because I'm more of a coffee drinker than a tea drinker. But tea would fit easily. I think coffee would have to go down here. Tea and then I'll use these little ones. I think I'll do reds. Tweezers, probably. Never mind. fixes everything is a very big word how am I going to fit that in there oh well let's try let's do it in green
Every. I might just go over the top. Everything. T does fix quite quite a lot of problems. I healed my T. Oops. This one's a bit fiddly. Everything. Even though we all know it's one word, I think it'll be okay just putting it underneath. There we go. What do we think? T fixes everything. I like it. I'm just going to go around now with gloss medium just to seal it because these stickers aren't very sticky. I don't trust that they'll stay in place. T fixes everything. Perfect. Like it. Right, and now that that is dry, I'm going, well, nearly dry, I'm going to get a black pen. I have one here. And I'm just going to go along the cups just to find them. That noise you can hear in the background is my cat. She's my supervisor. She's angry because she wants feeding again. And she's getting fat, so I'm putting her on a diet. She doesn't realise yet, so I should probably be quiet. Oh, my lens are not very straight. Who mm. will? It's quiet. When the summer comes, we'll do some art in the garden together. I just bought a new house and my garden is fantastic and we get so many birds. It'll be nice. But I don't like wishing my life away and don't like hoping for Christmas and then hoping for summers and then hoping for holidays. I just like to live for the moment. That well, looks a lot better, doesn't it? Oops. I could have used a ruler, but never mind. And there we go, I might go around the lettuce as well. Are they still? Oh, these ones are okay.
I'm also, as well as being on Facebook, hashtag Kimmy's Ideas, I'm also on YouTube, Kimmy's Ideas, and I have a website, which is kjdixon dot weebly dot com and there you'll find some more videos, tutorials, some pictures sometimes if I have time there's usually stuff up there for sale I also have some free downloads of papers if you're into junk journaling and things like this Okay, I think we're done now. What do you think? How does yours look? I bet it's completely different. Doodle this. Winning! Happy is Larry. I like it. How did yours do? Are you going to do it now? Awesome. Have fun. And um, check out more videos on hashtag K-I-M-M-Y-Z-I-D-E-A-S Kimmy's Ideas. And there's lots more videos and tutorials. Bye.